Good morning. Welcome to Blue Heron Hill. I am Sue and I'm out in the garden today. Um, not really digging, but we're going to be harvesting. I'm right by my, my bed that contains brassicas. It has an insect cover over it to protect it from those cabbage moths, which lay those eggs and the larvae develop and those caterpillars and they just eat all the leaves and destroy my harvest. But I do have an insect problem on my uh, Napa cabbage or some call it Chinese cabbage. If you can see a lot of these leaves, I will pull one off here. You can tell all of that insect damage there. I don't know what it is. I have been looking and looking and looking and cannot find any eggs, can't find any crawly little caterpillars or anything like that. But I am going to harvest this and and take you into the kitchen where I make a wonderful oriental salad out of this. So here we go. But what I do is I tie it up and you can see I have some netting here that pulls it in tight so it can kind of blanch those interior leaves. I'm going to harvest this one even though it's so holy and eaten up. Well, there we have it. It's a actually it's a gorgeous specimen. I will let me cut my, my tie up off. And I'm suspecting that if I peel away these outer leaves, which I prop I won't I'll just compost these or give them to the chicken. I may find some very decent stalks way down here. Ah, now, here you go. You see all those little eggs there? That's what I'm dealing with. I've found them. Don't know what they are exactly, but uh, we're going to get rid of them. Okay, peeling away. Ah, here we go. It's a whoop. here we are. It's some kind of a a caterpillar type thing. All right, they must have obviously been in the soil. As I peel this away, I'm getting some very very nice leaves here. I do have, here's another bug, don't know what it is. Anyway, but I think that's a very decent head of Napa cabbage. Tied it up so it would blanch. This is so tender and I am going to take this in, wash it up, and um, and make it into a delicious salad. And afterwards, I'm going to come out here and and treat this soil and area with with something. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to see what I need to stop these other plants from succumbing to whatever these um, these caterpillars and larval forms are. They shouldn't have gotten that uh, anything that was flying because I had the, the netting over it the entire time. But I must have had the larva in the soil um, to start with. You can see this little guy here is beautiful. And I'm going to tie him up so he heads up nice and, um, nice and firm and tender. Okay, so there we are. Let's head on into the kitchen. Meet you in there in, in a YouTube second. Here I am in my kitchen, and we are going to make an oriental salad. 
Um, I've got my lovely head of Napa cabbage. It needs to be cleaned. Now, you can uh, tear off each individual one and, and wash it thoroughly that way. Or, the way I'm going to do it, because the salad calls it to be, to be chopped up, I'm going to chop it up, put it in my salad spinner, and drain it that way, and then spin it dry. Uh, there, there's a lot of dirt in this, so I'll be back when I get that all done, and we'll proceed with the rest of the salad. Look at how great that looks. I'm so excited. Okay, back. Fresh bowl of freshly washed greens. Now, since this had a lot of insect damage to it out in the, um, in the garden before I brought it in, what I did is I soaked it in my salad spinner full of water added a few dashes of vinegar and just let it soak for a while. That's going to kill off any of the little, the buggies or anything else that's in there. Let it soak for, I think about 15 minutes. Rinsed it all off and spun it dry. Now if this is a vinegar based dressing we're gonna put on this. I didn't really have a problem putting, um, putting vinegar on it. So already fresh, dried. Next ingredient we're adding is green onions. The recipe calls for um, four green onions. I, mine aren't very large out in the garden, so I have just a whole bunch of, just a bunch of them. Anyway. And I'm going to cut them up into into the green stem area. Not to lose any of that luscious green onion flavor. I think that looks okay. Next thing you add to the salad is um, sesame seeds and almonds. Both of them need to be toasted beforehand. I already did that. They are just kind of ready to go. You need um, four tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, and we'll just sprinkle that on. And four tablespoons of slivered almonds. Now, you don't have to buy slivered almonds. These happen to be way down deep in my freezer, and I just want to get used, rid of them. If you just wanted to cut up regular almonds, that's fine. Works out, out very well. Okay, all mixed in with your one head of Napa cabbage, and we're just gonna let that set. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to mix up the dressing. I'm just using a pint jar. I've got one of these plastic lids, screws on nice and tight, and it'll store in the refrigerator. This recipe, um, uh, the dressing will be enough for two, um, two recipes. If you wanted to double it, you could. It makes quite a bit here. But it's also great on a lot of different um, lettuce salads, and even, um, uh, as a coleslaw dressing. Okay, we're going to start with four tablespoons of sugar. And we're going to, um, this is a cup of oil. Half and half olive oil and half um, a vegetable oil. I use avocado oil. It's a very light tasting oil. It doesn't have a lot of those bad processing things in it. So that's one cup total. Okay, now we have two, uh, 
tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use the low sodium soy sauce if you wish, not a problem, or even add more. Um, next would be a teaspoon of pepper and two cloves of garlic. These are rather large cloves of garlic. This is still my garlic from last year. I had a fantastic crop. Okay, there we go. Okay, pepper, two cloves of garlic. Okay, six, six tablespoons of vinegar. I'm using a red wine vinegar. I prefer that over a white. Gives it more flavor, it's lighter, doesn't have quite that acidy bite to it. Hot sauce, your favorite brand. Um, I think the original recipe called for Frank's hot sauce, which I do not have anymore. You need um, about two tablespoons or as much to your liking as you wish. I want to give credit to a friend that I worked with, Elaine, who, who shared this recipe with me. It's delicious. I've been making it for, you know, over 20 years. All right, so that's your entire dressing. Cap it tightly. Shake it very well. So you're going to use half of this or less, depending upon how wet you want your salad. Okay, I'm going to try that. Toss it. So nice to be able to have meals that are totally from your garden. The cabbage, the onions. Oh, this is it's it's such a treat. I think I'm going to add just a scant bit more. I always shake before before pouring. You've got to mix the vinegars and the oils. That plenty. Now the final touch to this salad is ramen noodles. Okay, let me plate this up. Now if you're serving a whole crowd, you just break up your noodles in with the salad and then you serve. You want the noodles kind of crispy so they're, you know, everybody gets a very enjoyable bite. serving for the purpose of display and this uh, two packages of ramen noodles for uh, this entire this entire recipe so here we go It's delicious. You need to try this. It is so delicious. One of my favorites. It's been one of my favorites for many, many years. So thanks again for joining me in this video. A little bit of gardening, a little bit of cooking. If you haven't already, subscribe. Pass this along to your friends. Um, I'd love to see them join my channel. Um, click the bell uh, for any notifications so you get 
the next recipe that comes right up or the next activity I do out in the garden or any information I have about my chickens outside. I th if you can hear them, they're clucking back there. I think somebody just laid an egg. Anyway, thanks again for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.